Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Civilization, uh, playing as Sephiel of Burn. Uh, now in the last episode we managed to take the city of Laos, and our Vyvern Lords are currently just resting up and preparing for a second charge into Farah. Roy is uh, holding up pretty well, but uh, he was not able to defend Laos. We'll see if Ostia and Farah fall as easily, I, I kind of doubt that they will. However, Roy has sent a fleet over to attack Taras, and he's almost brought it down, so we actually gotta go over here and do something about that. So I've sent my ships to see if I can do something. Uh, I don't like that uh, pikeman, I'm gonna try to bring it down. Because uh, if that pikeman reaches my shores, there's a good chance that the city can fall, and I don't want that to happen. But if I take down all the other units, then it should be pretty easy to protect it. So, there we go. Now, I am just going to heal up these guys, as I said. Uh, I'm going to shoot a little bit on the musket men. I'm keeping my dragon lords in the front. And I am basically just healing up at this point. And once my dragon lords are healed, it's time for another charge into Farah. They're going to heal up pretty quickly because they're in friendly territories. So this is all going to be pretty good. Gale is uh, keeping those uh, guys intimidated. And Milady has also joined the front lines. We'll see what Roy can conjure up right now. Erika wants to buy marble. That is fine with me. Currently, we're losing 30 gold per turn, so our economy is not looking fantastic right now. So, uh, we gotta do something about that if we want to uh, if we want to stay in this game. Wow, Taras is completely brought down to zero hit points. If, if Roy has, like, a single melee ship, then I am done for. But it looks like I'm gonna be able to push him back. His ships are actually failing right now. Also, I just noticed that Sephiel, uh, or that Roy embarked a musketman, so that's kind of stupid. I might be able to take it out, but I think Roy actually has the Great... Yeah, he has the Great Wall. That is a problem. Uh, it seems like my Vyvern Lords are ignoring the Great Wall, though. That's kind of interesting. Uh, so, basically, the Great Wall makes you pay one extra movement cost. You may remember if you saw my Mongol, that's by how much it crippled me. But it seems like flying units do not care about the Great Wall, which makes perfect sense, but... You know, it, there's always the possibility that they may, that the Great Wall would still affect them anyway, just because it's a wonder and it may, like, not follow logic, but I'm glad to see that it actually does not, uh, so that means my Varvan Lords remain mobile, which is very nice to see. I'm working on a road over to Laos, I've decided to keep Laos. Now, sadly, I do not seem to get my courthouse. Uh, this is a big, like, I hope this is just a bug. Maybe I'll get it with the next city I conquer. But I'm supposed to get free courthouses when I conquer cities, which is like a huge thing with Burn. I was one of the like one of the best aspects of the civilization, and it doesn't seem to be working properly, which I'm a little bit sad about. To be fair, uh, I uh, that would have saved me a lot of unhappiness, and I do plan to go for world domination. So that would be a lot of courthouses I would not have to build. So I hope that it's just a one-off, that it was something I did that did not trigger it. We'll see once I conquer my next city if I get a free courthouse or not. But again, that is the thing with modded civilizations. There will always be these small little bugs that you cannot really foresee. I've actually heard... I just uh, received a message from someone, uh, from the guy who made uh, the Hector civilization, I believe, and he's told me that he has updated it. But I, of course, I can't update it because if I do that, the game's gonna crash. You know what happens when you update a mod mid-playthrough. Not a very good idea. Uh, I can upgrade these long swordsmen, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so I'm tempted to go in and take this trebuchet. At least I can do some damage to it. And then back off again. I don't think I have the strength to take Farah. to be fair. I do not think... Uh, to be fair, get it. Uh, but I think we can probably start with Ostia. We can get cover on our crossbowmen, then we can move in for the attack. But I do not think that I have what it takes to uh, take Farah. Without cannons, because that... Oh, let's uh, take this uh, trade route, though. That's 100 gold for us. That's pretty good. It looks like Roy is in full retreat mode right now. The Viren Lords are washing over him like locusts. And uh, he's desperately trying to take the city back. Now we even got plus one range on our Galeasses. So now this Galeas is tree range, which is really good. That means that I can siege the cities from outside uh, their uh, bombardment range. So let's take down Ostia. Uh, I think Thria I might not keep. Narshan will probably take that city if I keep weakening Roy. He's probably going to attack him. However, we do have to think about what to get in burn next. So I do believe that I was building a cargo ship in Taras. I'm going to finish the castle. Yeah, cargo ship in two turns. We can let that finish. Um, 
What do we need in burn? We should probably, to be fair, let's focus on... Um... Oh, wait a minute. World's Fair. That might be a good idea. We want that free social policy, don't we? Yeah, let's uh, let's get 300 hammers um, at the very least. I don't think I'm going to focus on it like I did last time. But let's at least get 300 hammers so we get that free extra social policy because that is definitely worth it. Especially considering we need every single social policy that we can get. Alright, so we just got a profit. I think it's time to spread the religion. Uh, so let's do that. There's no city-states to spread it to. Marth has his own uh, religion and so does Roy. But does Narshan have his religion? He does not. So I think we can send this uh, prophet to Taras. And then uh, what I think we'll do is we will... Um, we will go and uh, spread the religion to Narshan. That will make him have a shared religion with us. That will give us a big green modifier. And that's going to be very good for us overall. Oh, what the... Oh, one of my Vyvern Knights got killed. I don't know what he was doing over there. That was kind of reckless of me, I must admit. That was very reckless of me. I just lost one of my Vyvern Lords. Okay, we just also found the Rock of Gibraltar. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna attack and then back off. I don't know why, why I was going so far north. That was really reckless of me. But anyway, it's time to take down Ostia. Uh, this Galias has plus one range as well. Not gonna start attacking it just yet. Oh, is Narshan attacking Roy? That would be hilarious if he did, but I don't think he is yet. But we are just gonna be pillaging and sticking around Ostia. Now, I might, uh, to be fair, I might actually take Ostia as well. It's a pretty good city. It has some luxuries that I can see. Anyway, I noticed that my frames are spiking a little bit, so I might have to go clear some disk space. I'll be right back. There we go. Should be better now. So, yeah, uh, looks like, uh, <laughs> is Narshan actually attacking? I think he might be attacking. Anyway, so we've spread our religion, we got eight followers right now, we're gonna send him over to Taras and continue spreading the religion there. And then once we're done, we are gonna go and spread it to Narshan. Everything's gonna be alright. Anyway, we gotta start repairing some of the damage we've caused right now. We are to keep these cities. I am going to check if I get a courthouse whenever I take Ostia. I better get a courthouse. Also, I should take down these crossbowmen while they're embarked. Looks like... Oh, Narshin is attacking Roy. That is fantastic. Look at that. I knew I can count on you, Narshi boy. Yup, he sure is. Well, he might go for me next, considering how deceptive that guy is. So, I haven't really been paying attention to what's been going on elsewhere. Looks like... Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, looks like uh, Gangrel managed to take Grotto Keep back. Or did he? No, he did not. I'm just colorblind. I am just colorblind. That's kind of hilarious. So Gangrel's still mucking about in Plague, yeah. Uh, looks like Hector's uh, expanding all over Arcadia. Not much is happening up here in Sake. No, not many cities burning or anything. Looks like uh, there's a relative peace, despite everyone wanting to gang up on Ephraim. Alright, so do I want uh, Shock 3? I might want Shock 3. Charge or Formation might be good, but no, we're going to go for Shock 3. I think I would like to get... Um... I think I would like to get logistics on these guys, eventually. There we go. Back you go. Alright, let's keep attacking Ostia. Oh, this guy does not have range yet. I gotta be careful about Narshin. You never know what he might be up to. Suddenly, out of the, out of the blue, he will sneak attack me. Knowing him. So, uh, I do not trust him at all. I've heard he's pretty deceptive. Alright, I think we can probably start go start going for... Uh, we can probably start going for Ostia soon. I think next turn I'm going to start attacking it with my Varvan Lords, but I don't want to do it preemptively. Oop, I did not want to do that, but oops. Guess, guess I did. Alright, so we have 207 hammers. I do not think we want to go any more than the, the silver reward. So, at 350 hammers, I will stop. I am not interested in the 100% increased culture. It's not worth it, in my opinion. Leader fucking I told me that you become friends with them. Hee <laughs> hee! I am Erika. Giggle, giggle. Sad, sad thing it is that Marth is most likely going to be the next guy we declare war on. Depending on what Narshan does. If Narshan declares war on us, then we might declare war on him back, but... 
It seems Sakanaya is not the only witful one in this world of simpletons. It seems you have a devotion of me. Nash and two of them. Why else would you become friends with Akanaya after all? But yeah, Narshan just took three hours. This is great. This is just what I wanted. I knew he'd attack Roy the moment Roy got weaker. But he was not interested in uh, attacking Roy when he was strong. I'm guessing Narshan is not very brave. Like, uh, leaders have a stat called bravery. Which kind of like, the braver they are, the more uh, dangerous wars they're willing to go into. It doesn't seem like Narshan's very brave at all. However, we can probably... Is he burning Tria down or is he actually keeping it? Uh, he's keeping it, so we can trade with it, although Kaelin gives us 11 gold per turn, which is better. So we should probably stick to that. Alright, let's go, let's continue to repair this shit up. We can probably take Austin on this turn, to be fair. Uh, do we get a bonus from the Great General? I don't think we do, no. Alright, so range, uh, yeah, we're gonna go for range. On these guys. That's gonna make them pretty good frigates. Alright, time to take Ostia. The city is kinda hard to take. As you'd expect Ostia to be. But let's view the city. Are we gonna take this city? Okay, so we do get the courthouse. We do. Okay. That is good to see. So... Uh, do we have the happiness to keep it? I don't know. I mean, this city itself gives a lot of happiness. It has a circus and a coliseum, so that's four happiness immediately off the bat. I think we'll take it. It's an exit. Our happiness is actually not doing too, too poorly right now, so uh, I am not actually too sad about that. So yeah, looks like, uh, looks like Roy is poised to fall. That is uh, kind of poetic in a way. <laughs> I think we need some more workers, though. Alright, so 325 hammers so far. I think we can keep the production on, like, one of our cities, possibly. And we'll go over 350 for sure. Uh, I think if we just do it in our capital. Yeah, capital provides 60 hammers. So we can probably do it in uh, in Remy, actually. Cause we, yeah, that's 21 hammers. Uh, yeah, so we'll keep it in our capital for one more day. But we'll swap the production away from the other cities. So let's uh, continue building an observatory. Do we want this caravan? There are some decent trade routes, I do believe, that we can get via Laon. Yeah, we can trade with South Down. That's 13 gold per turn. I think that's probably worth it. Alright, Laos. Yeah, the courthouse, which I was supposed to get for free. Uh, which I did not get. I guess we'll build it then. I don't know why we didn't, but we didn't. Alright, we can start moving our crossbowmen towards uh, Farah. Looks like Narshan's also got the same idea. I'm not letting him take the city, though. That city is mine, Narshan. Don't you fucking dare. That city is fucking mine. Don't you dare. Narshan's got a pretty big army, actually. He's doing fairly well for himself. Alright, we got a great work of arch. What did we make? Something Japanese. Zephiel is very cultural. Alright, so let's grab an observatory in this city. We want to go hardcore science, boys. It's the only way to go. Yeah, this is definitely going to be an autocracy game. Uh, we might even go for the tenant, which gives us happiness from... <laughs> from uh, Oh shit, 437. That's way too much. Holy shit. Alright. I don't know, I guess we could contribute a little bit more to try and get the first prize. But I don't really want to do it, to be fair. Martha's declared war on Roy. Okay, so everyone's like, the, the the vultures are coming in to pick the bones right now. Poor Roy, man. He he can just, he can't, he can't catch a break. He used to be one of the most well-liked guys, and now everyone just wants to kill him. We can steal a technology as well, which is good. Uh, navigation, I do believe, is the most expensive one at the moment. 16 turns, I do believe so. That's pretty good, actually, because so that means we can upgrade these ships to frigates, but that's going to be expensive. Oh my god, look at Narshan's army, though. Holy shit, Narshan has a massive army. Like, a literally massive army. That is actually downright intimidating how many crossbow money he has. He's going to fucking... He's going to fucking own my vibrance. So what I should probably do, then, is I should, like, surround the city... So at least he can't get them. But I'm not sure if I can take the city. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can't take the city. Not not as I not as I am right now. 
My ships aren't really useful here, sadly. They aren't really useful at all. But my crossbowmen might be. If I had some cannons, that would definitely be nice. Holy fucking shit, that's a lot of barbarians. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is, these are the Western Isles, so that's actually fitting. It doesn't look like any of the players spawn on the Western Isles at all, actually. So the Western Isles are completely free of AIs. Because these are, this is, these are the Western Isles for sure. I, I contemplated the, fi the fact that Gangrel might, but it looks like Gangrel actually spawned in Western Etruria. Because Leon spawned in the middle of Etruria. And uh, Micaiah and Alinshia are both up in Ilya. Ephraim, Erica, and Robin are on the plains of Sake, and I am in Burn together with Marth. And Roy is in Lysia. So that's kind of cool, actually. Alright, let's start shooting on Farah. So, looks like I'm taking some damage. What's this? Burn crossbowman. Wow, he Narshan has units everywhere. It's actually legit frightening how many units he has. Like this is actually kind of scary. Like he has a massive army. I hope he doesn't have plans to like backstab me, because I'm not sure if I would survive. I mean, I do have my frigates, I guess, which kind of help. Okay, so this great prophet is going to Edessa. Let's see if we can convert Narshan to Idun. <laughs> Make him believe. Alright, so time to go and uh, repair. I think we actually want some more workers once we're done here. Because we have a lot of shit to repair. But I don't like where Narshan's walking. I fear that he might uh, have some ideas. Alright, time to send this ship home. 12 turns to get home. We do want some caravels. They can be upgraded to privateers. They're going to be great. Uh, she's running out of people to s practice swordplay with, and uh, she wants to attack Robin. Okay, so there are some tension brewing in Sake, and they definitely want to attack each other, but it doesn't seem like anyone's willing to make the first move. They're just sitting there brooding and contemplating attacking each other. I'm kind of surprised Ephraim hasn't fallen yet. Gangrel's definitely doing horribly, <laughs> Hector's doing horribly as well, and Robin's very weak now. Um, the best leader is actually Marth and Erika and Narshan. So that's kind of scary. Uh, Narsh is the third strongest leader. Oh, maybe we should grab March. That would be good. I do like having March on my dudes. Oh, look at this, though. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I, we might as well attack, but it's... You can see it's costing us pretty dearly. We're not going to be able to do anything unless we get uh, cannons up in here. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. Alright, we might as well leave one of these ships in here to uh, reduce our maintenance cost a little bit. I don't think these frigates are going to be very useful. So we might as well do this. Unless we find a use for them. They're not going to cost any maintenance when garrison in our main base, so that's good. Um, I doubt our navy will be very useful against Marth either. Uh, I mean, no, they won't really be able to do anything. If I ever attack Erika, then they'll be super useful. Castle Rene is super exposed from attack from the sea. Ephraim is plotting against me. Oh, no. Please don't. So it's going to be a ground war against Marth for the most part. But if I do go for Narshan, I can at least take three. Uh. Hector is also relatively exposed. As you can see, Castle Ostia is very exposed from the sea right here. Uh, he wants to give me Baden for peace treaty. But I'm not sure if I want to, actually. I want his capital, so... I'm good. I just need to get some cannons. Okay, we got the Akanayan League. Oh, wait. They aren't knights? I thought they were knights. Apparently, there's their infantry. I gotta check. League, Akanayan okay, leagues. They replace the knights, but they are okay. They are not mounted units. They replace the knight though, but they are they are infantry units. Huh. They have 3 extra combat strength, and they have 20% uh, combat strength inside friendly territory. So, they're gonna be pretty hard to take down. Um, not looking forward to that at all. Hey, Narshan, why don't you help me out here a little bit? Why don't you help me out, boy? Village to pal, boy. 
go pillage the mine. I mean, Arshan's crossbowman, I mean, he's definitely at war with Roy, so he should help me out. But then again, he's Narshan. He'll do as he wants. Maynal Cathedral requires patronage. Triples influence with all cities that is meant. Wow, what a shitty wonder. <laughs> I mean, it's actually kind of good. It, it, it triples all uh, influence with all the city states that you have met. But uh, since there's no city states in this game, they're not really going to be all that useful at all. So our science is looking really good. We're going to get us an observatory in Burma. In fact, we're going to get an observatory in all of our cities, which is really good. Alright, so it looks like Narshan is helping us a little bit, which is good. Yeah, he's definitely helping us. But I don't want any of his melee units to uh, to help, though. Farah's kind of... It's a slow burn for Farah, and Marth is coming in to take Baton now, so... World's Fair update. We are 34%... <laughs> okay, that's going to take a while until we get this thing going. Okay. Let's uh, do some hit and runs. There might be some uh, farms and stuff that we can pillage. Alright, you guys just stay around here and heal. Same with you, Vyvern Lord. The ships can't really do much, but they'll 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 come in handy later on. Well, Gangrel lost her capital. Elincha took it. Holy shit, does that mean Gangrel's out of the game? Wow, Gangrel got eliminated. <laughs> He's out. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I hoped you would raise some hell this game. Okay. Would you look at that? Gangrel is out. He's the first leader to go. Highly unexpected. I thought he would be the shock of this game. Just Like, when he took Grotto on turn 50 or something, I was like, wow, he's gonna be an absolute monster. No, no, it looks like Marth's the monster. Marth and Eric and Narshan are the scary ones. Alinsha is also really scary. Roy is still higher than me on the point scale, despite getting his ass kicked in this war. <laughs> yeah, go attack Ephraim then. Just You don't need my help to do it. Oh, here comes Marth. Akanayan Musketmen and Akanayan Leagues are uh, marching into the territory. They're out for blood. Oh, we got another Dragon Lord. Okay, we'll wait one more turn. Ooh, we got Vida. Nice. I like Vida. She's a, she's a four out of five star unit. Too bad these dragon lords can't build a citadel. Still, that's a bit of a penalty. Alright, we're not letting uh, Narshan come near the city. This is our fucking city, Narshan, and you're not getting it, so fuck off. Alright, Happiness is looking good. We got zero Happiness despite annexing two cities. That's always nice to see. Well, we're not probably not going to be settling any more cities, to be fair. We are going to be... Whatever... <laughs> we're going to take the cities we need. Let's just put it that way. Oh, shit. A unit was killed. What? That was one of my Dragon Lords that got killed. Did I leave it out in the open? I think I did. Huh. Leasing crossbowman. Okay. That was uh, weird. Did not expect that. Well, this thing's gonna die, so... Not particularly worried. I'm gonna be completely honest. But still, I did not expect that. Alright, we got another Vyvern Lord ready to join the action. And we can actually get the Oxford University in Burn, which is going to be pretty good. We can use it to get a free tech. So we probably want to get Archaeology, I think. That will be 17 turns that we'll get, and uh, that's going to reveal... Okay, we, we, we did actually lose a, uh, a, a, a Dragon Lord, but not that it matters a huge deal, but it was still very surprising to see. Okay, so we've successfully converted his capital to Aiden, so I think what we can do now is we can send our Great Prophet over. I'm not sure if that gives us the green modifier yet. Uh, no. That does not give us any green modifiers so far. You want horses? Like, there we go. Seven gold for some horses. I think that works pretty well. Alright, we don't have the money to upgrade these frigates yet, but we'll get there, eventually. 28 turns, then we'll get our next policy. That free policy from World's Fair is going to help us out a lot. 
Uh, I think we can probably move our spy elsewhere, to be fair. I think we're gonna move it to Altea. What is this capital? Is it Palace? Wow, Altea is actually bigger than Palace, but I think it's probably gonna be good to have a spy in Altea, because it's gonna be one of the cities we're gonna be focusing on. So, I am going to be moving my... Nope, fuck off. I'm going to be moving my, my spy over to Altea to spy on it. And I think this turn we can probably take down Pharah. Yeah, we can definitely take Pharah on this turn. Here we go. The next the city. Do we get the free courthouse? Yes, we do. Amazing. Okay, so let's take a look at the city. Hagia Sophia, that's a good wonder. We got the Long Fort, which is great defensively. We got Machu Picchu, which gives us extra gold. And we got the Prism Shrine. Require aesthetics. The culture cost of acquiring new tiles in the city is reduced by 80%. Holy shit, that's really good. And tree works of art for her. So that's amazing for a culture. Holy shit. That is really good. That is really, really fucking good. We need some workers. There's so many roads over here. Holy shit. So now Roy only got bottom left. Once that falls, he's gonna be out of this game. And I have to find someone else to fight with. Alright, Taras. I think we want uh, a forge in this city? Probably? Forges are nice. After that, let's focus on growth. Go for granary and aqueducts. And this city can probably just go for a monument for its first building. Alright, all of these cities are connected. Let's just go and systematically repair all the tiles we've damaged. Holy shit, look at Narshan's army, though. Like, I am not comfortable with an army this large, like, right outside my doorstep. That is legit a massive army he has. But we're doing pretty good now. We're number two. After con conquering a capital, always gives you a massive... Look at this fucking army. I hope we... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Elysian Settler. <laughs> hey, we can capture it. It becomes a worker when captured, so that's good, I guess. Yeah, Mart's taking down Baron now, so that's gonna be the end of Roy, I'm afraid. There we go. Thanks for the worker, I guess. Always nice to have. We can send a crossbowman down to Laos to garrison that. We can send this crossbowman down to Burn to garrison that. Alright, so, oh, we can't build the Oxford University anymore, but we're gonna go for a seaport. Seaports are nice. We can't build the Oxford University, <laughs> yeah, because we have to uh, build a university in uh, the city we just captured. That happens. Alright, Vida, you can go up here. We gotta heal up our Vivrance before we continue on. So I don't know how long I should wait before declaring war on Marth. It's gonna be a pretty tricky war. Maybe I c if I can get, like, Narishin to join me or something, that'd be great. I could also attack him right now. Marth, that is. Uh, as he's busy fighting Badon, and I could, like, flank him, which would be kind of cool. It would grab him while he's outside of friendly territory, for sure. Which would be kind of nice to see. Um, but I'm not sure. I mean, he has a lot of musketmen, though. At the same time, he's out in the open, so he'd be easy pickings for me right now. We could move in for a flank attack and just smash into him. It would deal with a large... Oh. Our spies have uncovered that Narshan is plotting against you. Wow, what a what a shocker that is. I could never see that coming. Maybe we should deal with Narshan before we deal with Marth. I feel like if we deal with Marth, Narshan's gonna stab us in the back while we fight. That's, that's what's gonna happen. He's just gonna stab us in the back. We have to constantly have, like, a guard of anti-flankers to protect ourselves from Narishan. I mean, like, we're, we're pretty much never safe for as long as he's here. Alright, let's uh, grab a cargo ship in the city. I don't know what happened to it. Let's go for the banking tech. We do gotta get our economy up somehow. Although, we're getting 27 gold per turn now, which is pretty good. Seems like Narshan is going for Marth, though. Or he's planning to attack Laos, which would be kind of silly. But if he attacks me now, he's gonna get crushed. He's, like, right in the middle of my Vyvern Knights, so I'm just gonna ride him down if he's stupid enough to do that. 
not going to be very smart. I'm wondering if maybe we should try to grow burn a little bit at this point. Uh, even though we are still unhappy, we're going to get happy very soon. Um, well, especially once we get this wine tile. God, I am tempted to attack Marth right now. Do I have a declaration of friendship with the guy? I don't think I do, do I? Oh, fuck, we do. That's going to give me a backstabber penalty, but... <laughs> I mean... Can it really be able... Oh, maybe I can, like, convince Narshan to declare war on Marth? That would be absolutely insane. Hey, Narshan. Yeah, you, Narshan. We're friends. Do you wanna... Do you wanna declare war on, uh... On Marth? I'm guessing he's gonna say no. Oh, he wants to. 12 gold per turn. What if I throw in my, uh... My declaration, too? Hmm... He wants iron horses, sugar, and 12 gold per turn. It's not a terrible deal. It's not a terrible deal at all. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe it'll go down a little bit if I wait. Because with the help of Narshan, we could we could fucking crush Marth. I'm gonna wait one turn and see if the cost goes down. I think the cost varies depending on the enemy's strength. But like Narshan's troops are poised to strike in this situation right here. <laughs> I mean, 12 gold per turn is a lot, but, uh, it's, like, I don't... Mart's army is terrifying, and having Narishan on my side is going to be very, very dangerous for him. Looks like Narishan might take battle, actually. But yeah, Roy's gonna be eliminated right now. Rip and Pepperonis. Narishan took the city, actually. That means I got Narishan all over. <laughs> Narishan to the north, Narishan to the west. It's not a great place to be. Okay, so I think I am going to drop a denunciation on Marth. There we go. So that is how it is then. Very well. We shall not forget this. And then I am going to ask Narishan. So, oh no, I don't want I don't want him to declare war on Narishan. I want Narishan to declare war on him. Ba 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 da 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 It's still as expensive, but honestly, I think it's gonna be worth it. Alright, 14 gold per turn, 15 gold per turn, 16 gold per turn, some I don't wanna give him my sugar because it's gonna fuck off over my happiness. 20 gold per turn? 21 gold. There we go. Very well then. So now, Narshan is gonna charge into Marth. I'm going to let him absorb like the brunt of Marth's March forces. And then, once they have fought for a couple of turns, I am going to send in my Vyvern Knights to pick up the scraps. I'm going to declare war, war on Marth as well, but I'm gonna let uh, Narshan fight him a little bit first. Right, it's a burn. Let's just go for the Musician's Guild, the Opera House, the Garden, the Temple, and Walls. Let's just get these buildings over with uh, really quickly. Alright, let's see what Narshan does. He better attack. Oh, do forgive me, but I cannot be friends with you any longer. I cannot stand what, with your actions as of recently. I hope you understand why I did this. Wow. Even when she denounces, her, she's way too polite. Does Alinsha care? Yeah, I've already accumulated some warmongering penalties right here. So I'm only getting 5 gold per turn for wine. But that's what that's to be expected. <laughs> Ephraim is like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Perhaps you had reasons for allying with Renee, but I'd caution you to stop this little friendship. They're quite disloyal, you know. <laughs> Hector does not like uh, Renee at all. Okay, here comes Narshan. Narshan has become a nuisance, one that can only be dealt with through war. Oh my god, that'd be the best, like, trip, that like triple betrayal. But no, I am no interested in uh, fighting Narshan right now. Not after... Oh, fucking hell, here comes the denunciation. Not after I bribed him that much gold to go and fight Marth. But I should join in. I should join in before Marth kills him. There we go. Marth is actually with the world one of the most literal people, though. He's got 42 attacks compared to us. We're number five on literacy, so not as bad as I thought, actually. I thought we were way worse. But yeah, we're gonna join. Just between you and me, the military, your military is kind of a laughing stock. We shall see about that, Marth. 
Very well, don't hold back. Come all this way to learn what makes a hero. Dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh, we are steamrolling over, uh, over Mars forces. Viral Lords, attack! Man, the, the Cephiel Norshan Alliance is real. I'm still not gonna move my crossbowman away from here, though. I do not trust him at all. But the Akanayan League are gonna be tough to take down. Alright, we're gonna get, grab a seaport here, I think. For sure. Um, I think the same thing here. Yeah, I want seaports in all my cities. They're really good buildings. I'm gonna go for printing press. But I do believe I want to start growing the city a little bit. It's not gonna matter though. <laughs> not when I'm unhappy. Bop, 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 bop. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes the annunciation. I'm glad to see that Akanaya is nothing but a disgusting individual. <laughs> disgusting! He said it! You think yourself to be better than Akanaya? Well, I'll have you know you're surely mistaken. And I don't take too kindly to your foolishness. Okay, so now everyone hates me. Attacking Morith was not a wise... What? Narshan, what are you doing? Why are you pulling back? Narshan, why are you pulling back, you asshole? I paid you for this, you goddamn traitor. Come back here at once. You were supposed to attack Marth. I swear to God, if he pulls back now, that's the most the most gold I've ever paid for something so useless. Ooh, wait a minute. This is uh, this is an Akanayan great musician. Looks like uh, Marthy Pan has quite a few units over here. It's gonna be tricky to fight these guys. Da, da, da. Seems like Marth was attacking Robin, and I came right in the middle of it. Well, that's kind of funny. But yeah, Narshan, get your shit together, man. We were fighting a war over here. I need, I need you. You can't abandon your king in a time like this. Yeah, seems like Marth was indeed going for Robin. He has a lot of units over here. Embassy, whatever. We're still unhappy. We need to do something about that. We're suffering a combat penalty. Yeah, sure, we can keep the open borders going. We need that. Okay, so Narshan is coming north now, so that's good. I'm a little bit worried about these Vibrant Lords. Ooh, this is, uh, this is gonna be some war. It also looks like uh, Robin is fighting uh, Marth. At least I think he is. He's guarded, though. Is he fighting Marth? He does now. He's not fight. Hmm. We do need open borders with Robin, though. Oh, they need an embassy. Now they got one. He does not want to give me open borders. So these guys are effectively protected from me. All right. If only Narshan keeps up the pressure in the south and in the north, then I should be able to do something. But Mart's forces are like pretty heavily entrenched behind these mountains right now. So we'll see if I can do anything. My navy is useless against Marth, because he's all inland. But uh, what I can do, actually, is I can fly my Vyvern Lords around and I can attack Altia, because it seems pretty defenseless. Maybe even Palace. Maybe I should just fly my Vyverns over the mountains and just go for Palace. And just ravage his capital. That could work, actually. But uh, attacking, yeah, they're going to do 100 damage back to me if I attack them, though. As you can see, they're not great against cities. They're not supposed to be, though. They're anti-troop units. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good time to make a cut. Do give it a like and a comment if you uh, enjoyed this episode. It helps out the channel a lot. We'll see how this war goes. I think Mart's going to be a very tough cookie to crack, even with Narshan backing us up. He's quite strong. Unless we can get some of the other leaders to join in, which is not looking very likely right now. Anyway, my name is Umangs, and I shall see you guys soon. Goodbye.